just? Can we just? They're so sweet. <laughs> Here. Let's artfully. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. The key term is artfully. Oh, yes. So artful. Oh, my God. Guys, we're arting. Can you see that in the frame? I'm literally going to block it. I know what's there. <laughs> Hi, my name is Lauren. I'm the Muddy Taurus. And welcome to the studio vlog. Yeah. Also, I got these overalls from ThreadUp. They're from Gap, originally. They're this beautiful... On the website, they looked, like, kind of pink. But they're almost like a purpley lilac in some lights. It feels like I'm wearing PJs. I'm going to live in these. I may sleep in them. Please don't judge me. But, like, pockets here and a pocket here. And they have pockets here. Anyways, enjoy the vlog, and I'll catch you at the end. Let's get muddy. It's the night before the sale. I'm currently in my dad's truck, about to pull out of the driveway. Um, I'm just tired. <laughs> I have so many thoughts in my brain, like running over to-do lists and making sure I have everything. And I'm like, I'm just like dead. <laughs> and this is exactly what happened the last fair. And I know with each sale, you know, like things will get easier and I'll have a better idea of like the list, um, you know, the list that I need to have for the fair. But yeah, if you're also a vendor and you go through this kind of stress the day before the sale, I'm with you, girl. <laughs> Hello, my sweet darling angel baby cherubs. How are you? Voice over Lauren here, popping in to say hello. Happy April, even though it's not April when you're watching this. Maybe you're watching it in April of 2023. Okay, happy April then, you know? <laughs> what the hell? Now, we were very close to Easter, so I was really hamming it up with the spring decor. I have little flowers spread about. I stole an Easter <laughs> tablecloth from the attic. You know the deal. I just wanted to point out these beautiful earrings that I made with the brass hardware that I got last month. Oh my god, I'm so in love with them. So, so in love with them. I can link them in my description below if y'all are interested. As you saw in some previous clips, I had fired a bisque the day before, and this is me unloading it at like 7 o'clock at night because I had no time before the sale that morning. I was up at 6, and I was home by 6, so it was a really long day for me. So I've been working on this plaster cart since November. It's May when I'm recording this. I mean, the cart's like 99% done. Everything structural is done. Now it's just like final touches. 
I even tried using it and it worked pretty well, which is great. But in these clips, I'm removing the clay coil that I used um, to seal the edge so no plaster would leak out when it was flipped upside down and I did my pour. And then in this last clip here after I vacuum, I'm using a rasp to clean up the edge. When I did my pour, I did it on plastic and the plastic got a little warped and, you know, wrinkly. So I'm just using a rasp to smooth it out. Okay, just hear me out, all right? Um. <laughs> um, guys! It was free, okay? It was a friend of a friend's. It's from a school, and they were getting rid of it anyways. The art teacher I got it from just wanted to get rid of it. And she said, verbatim, if it disappears in the middle of the night, I don't care. And I did in the middle of the day. <laughs> and it was free. You say free kiln. I say where. You know what I mean? <laughs> My new summer project. And we got a namer. That's the best part. We got a namer. She's a real cutie. She's actually... She's bigger than my other little test kiln that I bought at the beginning of this year. So if I can fix it up, maybe I'll keep this one and get rid of the other one. Um, I have plenty of potter friends who are probably interested in a small kiln like this anyways. So we're vibing. So my friend took me to this great craft supply store called Artisan Craftsman Supply and it's in Cambridge and oh my god it's so cute they had the prettiest paper they even had clay tools like what and I almost bought this Zyam clay cutter and I didn't so That, that's it. <laughs> it was a cool store. I'd go back. Hi. <laughs> These are corgi butts and a heart. <laughs> so I'm going to be really honest with you. I haven't done much. <laughs> March was very busy for me. If you couldn't tell from the last vlog because it was over 30 minutes long. <laughs> so sometime last week, I set up my camera to record myself throwing at the wheel. I had to make a large kind of wide short bowl for a project for class. And then I was also trying to make a really big cake plate on a bat um, that my friend is letting me borrow. One, the bowl just And the cake plate, <sighs> I'm so dumb. <laughs> I only have one wire tool and it was not long enough for the cake plate. So I thought, well, we could try taking it off with floss. I cut right through it. I cut into it and the first the first two the first two inches were going well and then because it's not a wire and it's floss <laughs> it had a mind of its own um, completely just ruined the cake plate and these weren't small objects they were like eight pound things so not only did it take me like 15 minutes to center them but it also took me kind of a while to to make them to pull up the walls so that was an hour wasted and you may be asking yourself Lauren where's the footage for that 
Well, like I said, I did set up my camera. Did I press record? <laughs> no. <laughs> why, why would I do that? <laughs> so, even after, like, I made the bowl, didn't work out. I made the cake plate, didn't work out. Even after that, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna include this footage because accidents happen and it's relatable when projects don't work out. When I saw that I didn't record anything, <laughs> I was like, I'm done. I need it, like I need, I just need to leave. And on top of that, on top of all of that, when I was, trying to cut the cake plate, the bat is so wide that it almost hits the side of my splash pan. So when I was ready to cut it off, I took out one side of the splash pan and I stupidly, <laughs> so stupid. It pains me even to, I, it just pains me to even explain it because when I say it out loud, <laughs> So dumb. I put it on its side and of course, of course, I am a bull in a china shop, the Muddy Taurus. I'm a bull in a china shop. I knocked that over and just slip and water went everywhere on my floor and I had just mopped like two days prior to this. Hadn't even used the space since I mopped it. Do you ever feel so numb? to like emotions. You just have one of those days where like everything, just everything. It's not, you know, it's not like everything's going horribly wrong. It's just like every little thing just, mm, just bothers you. I was so numb at that point between the bowl, the cake plate fails, um, the fact that I wasn't recording. <laughs> like I, I literally dropped like a half gallon of water. This this wasn't like, oh, I just got a little slip on the ground. No, no, no. So I got my sponge, I wiped it up. It still looks bad. I, I can't even bring myself to mop it. That's how mad I am at myself. I'm like, no, you have to live with this mess now. <laughs> you stupid, stupid girl. Ah, oh, but we're forgiving ourselves. Everything's fine. So I haven't thrown since then for obvious reasons. I'm tired. Right now, I have to kind of clean myself up here in the garage. I'm gonna glaze real quick. Last week, I did not record much because it was a lot of computer work. Frankly, it was kind of boring and I didn't feel the need to record myself in my sweatpants on my computer watching reruns of Ghost Hunters. So grab your iced coffee. Make sure you're also drinking water. Let's clean, let's glaze, and let's go have a damn good Monday. Let's turn on the radio and clean.
thing. <laughs> I tornadoed. Um... friends voiceover lauren here just coming in to say hello and i'm wondering you know how are you doing how's your day let's do a little bit of a check-in what are you doing for yourself today are you taking care of yourself you're drinking water eating fruits and veggies getting all your vitamins and minerals good good make sure you water your plants too this is your reminder I'm not sure why, but I've been thinking a lot about my experience wheel throwing, where I am now, and where I want to be. 
So I've been working with clay for about eight years, but I've really only been wheel throwing, you know, for four years, very consistently. And I wouldn't consider myself an advanced wheel thrower, maybe top tier intermediate on the cusp of advanced. I don't know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm, you know, hyping myself up a little bit too much, but I'm slowly trying to become a better production potter. And over time, I'm trying to throw larger. So a, the ultimate goal of mine, I have no idea when I'm even going to reach this. <laughs> it's just like a life goal. I want to throw with a full bag of clay, which is 25 pounds. It's like peak. It's top tier. I want to do it. I have no idea when or how I'm going to get there, but I'm, I'm just, I'm going to keep practicing. So I was trying to make a beautiful big piece, a nice tall sleek vase, and as you can see uh, earlier, I had to cut off like three inches of this pot. It just wasn't turning out how I wanted to, and even though, you know, maybe in my brain I'd call it a failed attempt, retrospectively, it, it was an attempt. It's practice. I'm trying to throw bigger. I'm trying to get to my goal mistakes are just happy accidents and that's all I have to say about it keep practicing if you have a goal in mind create a process where you can practice it and I wish you all the luck my dear friend <laughs> if it seems like I'm looking away from the camera a lot in these next few clips it's because I am your eyes don't deceive you I thought I parked in a secluded spot in a random parking lot and turns out I didn't and there's a lot happening around me um, so I also just started drinking coffee for the morning so I was a little hyped up but yeah I have an attention span issue anyways don't be my therapist in the comments I love you bye hi hi folks um let's talk real quick let's have a little we'll have a little chit chat hi Good morning. It's April 25th. Here's the deal. I haven't done much clay stuff this month. What's really funny is when I was recording the intro and outro for this vlog, I was like, it might have to be a two-parter. Um, <laughs> I, I didn't do much. So having a second part would be kind of pointless. So plans for the rest of the month, I don't know. I figured I would hop on here and start telling you about my summer projects because oh boy do I have a list going. 95% done with the plaster table. I just have to add a couple things, maybe some paint. We'll see. I'm making a cart for the wheel so I can move it around easily. So if I wanted to like throw on the wheel in like a bikini. <laughs> I can take it to the backyard by the pool and throw. I think that'd be really nice. Another summer project. The kilns. Plural. My big kiln cow, she needs a new power cord. Subsequently, the new power cord, the plug on the end, does not match the outlet that's in the wall. So we have to change the wall outlet so the new plug will match um, and I can fire the cube. <laughs> so she might be out of commission for a week, which is fine with me. So plaster cart, wheel cart, new plug for Cal, new plug for Hobbs, new outlet in the wall. <laughs> oh, and I have to move my entire studio back upstairs into the garage and insert clip here it's n it's not gonna be easy because why would it be this week and next week all my brain can handle is school like that's it <laughs> that's i think i mean it's april 25th there's what five six days left of this month i i'm gonna call it i'm just gonna i'm warning you now there's no <laughs> left of this vlog I'm a busy girl. Enjoy the next few clips and I'll see you in the outro.
I just went to Savers because I had donations to make and your girl loves to thrift. <laughs> and guess what? Almost always try to go through the books and I look for pottery books. It is a semi-rare occurrence to find a book, but I found this one. The Practical Potter, a step-by-step -step handbook by Josie Warshaw, and I'm so excited. I can't wait to look at it. Funny enough, there were two copies of it, and one was $3.99, and then the other one was $4.99. So, and they probably priced them at different times, or I don't know. I don't know why they would have two copies of a pottery book when they like never have copies of any pottery book. <laughs> so I was kind of going through it and I was really debating on buying the second one and giving it to a friend. And for whatever reason, I was like, nah, you know what? I'll just leave it here for the next person who really wants it. That was my thought. So I had a cashier helping me and she was like, where did you find this book? I told her it was on the craft and hobbies shelf and she was like I've been looking for that book and I was like there are two copies and she said no way and I said there's another one over there and I was like do you want me to go grab it and she was like no 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 it's okay <laughs> I'll grab it at the end of my shift okay that's it bye and we've come to our end thank you so much for watching I've decided that I'm your train conductor today. If this is your last stop on the train, I thank you for joining us. Maybe hit the like button, comment, share. You can share this with your mom or your dad, your grandma, your best friend, your significant other, your, your train conductor. Share it with Thread Up so they'll sponsor me. So I can keep modeling these cute clothes. <laughs> and thanks for watching. You're like really cool. Who who said? Who says? Me. I said. I'm gonna go take my contacts out and go to bed. Bye. <laughs> this is gonna be so cringy to watch later. Nope. Nope.